Hello, how are you? I know that most of you are done with your senior high school education and, and are wondering which courses you want to offer in your tertiary institutions. Today I want to talk to you about food science and technology in KNUST. I want to clear this doubt. Food science and technology is not home accounts. So if you are wondering that maybe you come, you wear a prone, do catering services and cook, no. Food science and technology is not that. I know that you want to know the jobs associated with food science and technology. But before you can understand that, let's take a walk through the uh, courses you offer in food science and technology. If you are a science student, you offer biology, physics, chemistry, and letting mass as your electives. In food science and technology, you mostly apply biology and chemistry, though in certain aspects you apply the physics and letting mass. If you are a home economic student and you offer biology and chemistry, you can also apply for the food science uh, course. In your first year, you offer courses such as introductory mathematics, which you will apply your letting mass you learned in SHS. Techniques in laboratory analysis, you learn more about uh, certain analysis on food we conduct in the lab. Foundation chemistry, it is related to your, the chemistry as I said earlier. In second year, you learn something about food chemistry, where you understand the components of food in terms of carbohydrate, proteins, and lipids. You also offer food physical chemistry. So you understand why that when we add water to oil, why the, water, the oil uh, comes on, to, on top of the water, and other things. You also offer food engineering. You see that when you go to the market, you see food products, milo. How did they convert the cocoa product to the milo? So you understand the plants, the instrument, the materials, how they operate in converting this product into fin uh, this raw materials into finished product. You also learn food analysis in second year. For the food analysis, it will help you assess or understand how you can analyze the food. So when we give you food, what is the carbohydrate content? What is the protein content? What is the fat content? You'll be taught in food analysis. And you also do biochemistry for food scientists. In this, you understand uh, basic metabolic activities that goes on in the body. When you eat food, what happens to the food? So this is a bit related to nutrition. In your third year, you fully understand food science. In third year, you offer courses such as food hygiene and sanitation, how to keep food safe, food fermentation. When you go to the market, you see products like yogurt, and other things, how do they produce them? You understand them. You also have post harvest physiology. As a food scientist, we, we convert food from our, we convert agricultural produce. So you understand how you have to keep those agricultural produce so that they do not spoil. Also, you learn food additives. When you take Fanta for an example, you see that Fanta is orange. What do they add to the water and other things that make, made the Fanta orange? So you understand these things in the food additives. And also food microbiology. You understand the microorganisms they use in the production of food and how they affect the characteristics of food. And finally, in third year, you understand sensory analysis or you learn sensory analysis. Sensory analysis, when you are done producing the food, people have to taste it. Or, or yeah, people have to taste the food and see that is the food good for the consumers outside. So you understand these things. In final year, you learn nutrition and health. And I know that most of you want to become dietitians or nutritionists in the future. Through food science, you learn nutrition and health and you, get, you gain much understanding. You learn food enzymology, which will help you understand the enzymes which is used in food and how they affect the food. You learn product development. There are several crops in Ghana. Let's say Atwan, the, the normal fruits which, which comes in September, October day. How can you convert this Atwan into finished product? So in food product development, you'll be taught this. You also have quality assurance. Quality assurance is when the food is being produced, how do we make sure that the food being produced is of high quality? So you will see that FDA will say, oh, this, this food's media quality. In, in most adverts, you will hear that, uh, at the end of the advert, you hear that uh, this advert has been certified by Food and Drugs Authority, meaning that the food and its characteristics meet their standard. In terms of jobs associated with food science, we have four categories. You can go into the health sector, the food processing sector, 
academia, and finally the regulatory offices. In terms of health sector, you can become a nutritionist from nutrition and health and metabolism or a dietitian. In terms of academia, you can become a lecturer or a teacher in any institutions. In terms of regulatory offices, we have Food and Drugs Authority, Food Research Institute, uh, CSIR, and Food FRI, Food, food Research Institute and Food and Drugs Authority. Those, these are regulatory agencies where, as a food scientist, you can work. In terms of processing, there are several processing companies in Ghana. The processing I'm talking about, from toffee to biscuit to tomato paste to drink to juices, these are all food. So you can work in every company that produces foods from raw materials. And in this company, you can perform several functions. You can become the food product development officer, the FPD officer. You can become the production manager. You can become the quality assurance officer. The quality assurance officer, those who are responsible for maintaining the quality of food from their production to where consumers consume their food. You can also become a sensory analyst. When they are done producing their food, you take their food and make sure that that the food meets the uh, consumer acceptability or do consumers like the food. You can also become food microbiologist. When they are done producing their food, you will check, is there any microorganisms in the food? Is it safe for consumption? So there are several jobs in even food processing company you can be or you can, you can take as a food scientist. I hope this program or this education will help you to, to choose food science and technology as one of your courses. Thank you.